you know, we, we have, uh, you know, in terms of the, the look of our website and the performance of our website on, on the Google end, it does really well. And we're number one in our market organically, um, you know, and we are really known as the number one hair extension salon in our state, which is Colorado. Um, but I still felt like there was massive room for growth. And I, I just felt like while we were doing well, I, I, I don't know, that I had this aching feeling in my heart that, you know, I, there's so much more out there to do. And I think a lot of people get complacent if they're number one that, hey, we're doing great, we're good. And I just don't feel that way. And I, I still feel like there is massive room for growth. And so I started searching and um, I've become a big fan of direct response marketing. And when I got on Google and looked up direct response marketing for salons, I believe was the keyword I actually typed in. Um, I came across your uh, well done landing page and uh, certainly read through it, got emotionally bought in. And uh, I became a member, I think that night, you know, for the 99 bucks. And uh, I bet you I spent four to five hours just going through the entire library, every single piece that I could find, just learning about what worked, what didn't work, what I think would work for our particular model, which is hair extensions, which you know isn't what a lot of salons do uh, for their specific niche. And I was finding a lot of great stuff. And so uh, I started just kind of you know sampling you know, and printing out like all the stuff that I thought would be good. And I'd put it into a folder and you know say, you know, like marketing ideas that I like. And uh, you know what, the one thing that I saw with many of them is that they took specific types of execution and I wanted to do them right. And I wanted to, uh, you know, anything I've ever done in my life, I've always had a great mentor who can kind of guide me through the process. And so that's when I reached out to you directly because, you know, when I do this, I want to make sure that, I, you know, from the very get go, I'm doing it right, that I don't go back in six months and be like, man, I wasted a lot of money doing it the wrong way. And uh, so that's when you, you sent me the, the book. Um, I think it's the Simple Salon Marketing book. And man, I read that on a flight, not last week, and uh, man, just really, really good stuff. And we've already done the dog letter campaign. Um, and just to give you an idea of how that went here, so we tried it out with just a sample list of 100 people. Um, our first mailing, we only got three. Second mailing, we got six. Third mailing, we got seven. So what is that, uh, 17, something like that? Uh, you know, I was happy with that. I remember saying to myself when I first started it, I said, if I get 10 out of this, I'm going to be happy. So we obviously outdid that. And uh, now we're getting ready to do some uh, holiday hairstyle uh, flyer marketing and also business of the week flyers. Um, and I think as I, uh, you know, slow down here with uh, my busy schedule in the middle of maybe late November, I'm going to really dig in to do some more complex stuff that I'm very excited about as well. So uh, hats off to you guys. I mean, you've built a, an incredible library and just a, a great base of knowledge for people in the salon industry who, you know, I think they all think it's about Google and Facebook and Instagram, you know, everywhere, at least here in the States, everybody thinks that that's how you build your business is you got to build it on Instagram or you got to build it through photos. And, you know, as you've said many, many times, it's not about the look. It's about, you know, what's written and, you know, how you're buying into people's emotional psychology, so to speak, and just getting them to perform and, you know, react to your offer and actually to come in the door. It's not just to react and like it. It's actually to pull out their pocketbook and say, hey, I'm in. And that's, that's what's been fun to watch, uh, you know, in just the very short time that I've been with you guys already. So I'm very excited for what's ahead. So other salons looking at doing something like this, what, you, what would you recommend? Uh, you know, I would start with the, the $99 member library, I'll be honest. Uh, I, I got a lot out of just looking through those things. And if we didn't offer such a unique service and such a, uh, I think, high-end service, not that that's, you know, a bad thing. Um, there are so many things that are, are custom built for just the normal salon that offers, you know, the myriad of services. Um, you can just take those flyers right away and literally print them out, customize them with your name and, and your information and go with it. Um, I've had to customize ours just a little bit more just because of what we do and the niche that we serve. And uh, pretty much everything that we do is customized to each client. So, uh, you know, I've had to work with it a little bit differently. But I think for anybody that owns a salon just in general, which is, you know, probably 95% of the people who are listening to this, I would say get into that library, pay the 99 bucks. It's totally worth it. You're going to get the return immediately, you know, probably within the first you know, 10 to 20 things that you send out. And uh, you won't be uh, disappointed. 